do our calls of the day. We're starting with Tesla. Stocks at the highs of the session, up near 4%. Adam Jonas Brin of Morgan Stanley uh, reiterating his overweight today. Wants investors to pay close attention to that June 13th uh, shareholder vote over the pay package for Elon Musk. Um, how closely are you watching it? Uh, is it any, in any way in your mind a binary event in how you'll think about the stock? If they voted to not give him the compensation, yes. That, I think that will pass. To me, it doesn't make sense that they would say no to that. So I'm going to, I think it would be binary if they voted no, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think also today I saw, you know, Pepsi announced a partnership with Tesla. Um, as I've said before, I think the next couple of quarters are going to be murky for the stock. And so as Chinese EV sales are growing, but at a decreasing rate, U.S. sales are declining. It's like you have to get through this time period. And so when fundamentals are murky, you need to look at technicals. And the chart is still in a downtrend, finding a base here. And so I think 187 is resistance. I've sold calls on this position. I don't think it's going to get called away. But I think that this is going to be the year, if you don't own Tesla, if you believe in like the Jonas, the Adam Jonas narrative of it's going to be mobility, which is robo taxis or some type of Uber, it's going to be cars, it's energy, insurance, it's the network, then that's how he gets to the 310. I read the report. Yeah, it's a big price target, think, right? 310. Right, Sorry but it's to not this you. year. 310. It's, yeah. I know, but you know, it's still a big jump from, you know, where it is today. Mm -hmm. And if you yep. factor in what you suggest could be a murky road ahead yep. over the next couple of quarters. The future of transportation is electrifying, literally, thanks to Tesla's continuing innovation and expansion. With new revelations about the upcoming robo-taxis, expanded partnership with PepsiCo, and a doubling down on AI development, Tesla is closer than ever to reaching its goals of solving full autonomy and solidifying its position as the world's EV market leader. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about Tesla's recent updates regarding its partnership with PepsiCo, as well as new updates on robo-taxis. Additionally, we will talk about Morgan Stanley's bold statement about Tesla and Elon Musk in a recent research note, and whether you should buy Tesla stock ahead of the shareholder's vote. But first, if you want to keep up with Tesla's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. Well, let us stick with electric vehicles and talk about Tesla. Shares of that company rising after it provided an update on its long-awaited electric semi-truck project, or I should say semi-truck project. Here are the details as Yahoo Finance Prof. Subramanian, semi for truck, semi for conductors, I think. I've heard both. Okay. Well, in any case, we're talking about tractor trailers is what I yes, what yes. I always called them. Tractor. This is a weird term, a tractor trailer. I never understood uh, the whole the whole concept. But anyway, yes. <laughs> Update on the long awaited semi semi. Semi. Semi, semi truck, yes. Uh, the car that a truck, sorry, that came out that was debuted in twenty seventeen, still is in the pilot testing of that vehicle right now. So basically, uh, uh, the product the project manager was speaking at the ACT Expo, which is, or the Alternative Clean Transportation Expo, mm. talking about how they're on track to deliver these by early 2026. Um, there's a new facility they're building attached to Giga Nevada. When that gets fully ramped up, they'll be potentially producing 50,000 units a year, which was, uh, I think, kind of a uh, more than what people thought they would be kind of produced for this such a big, big vehicle. But anyway, uh, early kind of specs here, the 500-mile range version, the long-range one, um, weigh around 23,000 pounds, and the the kind of the 300-mile kind of intermediate uh, length uh, truck, uh, well, <laughs> range truck is 20,000 pounds. Sorry, a lot of numbers here. So yes, uh, I think some, some bullishness there for that vehicle. Talk, tell us about how they have 3.5 million test miles done, both with PepsiCo, their original test partner, and also they're using the truck to deliver batteries from their uh, battery facility in, the, in Nevada to the Fremont factory. So a lot going on there, trying to ramp up this truck. It's working. It's, it seems to be pretty efficient. They're, they're saying um, they can do pull a full 82,000 pound load. Uh, they've been getting runs of 250 miles to 500 miles uh, based on how you know, the elevation changes, things like that. So mm. uh, pretty kind of efficient there for this long haul uh, sort of uh, truck. Real quickly, when are we going to see this on the road? 2026 is when they say early 2026, first real beyond production or beyond pilot spec uh, models. Tesla launched the semi-truck way back in 2017 and delivered a few to PepsiCo later in December 2022. As of January 2024, 
PepsiCo has a total of 36 Tesla semis deployed in its fleet, some of which are based out of Frito-Lay's Modesto facility in California. Recently, semi-truck engineering senior manager Dan Priestley said that Tesla has started delivering an additional 50 semi-trucks to PepsiCo at its California facility at the Advanced Clean Transportation Expo event in Las Vegas, bringing the total number of semis in PepsiCo's fleet to 86 trucks. Also, he added that the company is looking to build more trucks this year, including for its own operations, deliveries to PepsiCo, as well as for some other customers. Now, it's important to note that a single semi-truck could cost up to $250,000, so that is $12.5 million in Tesla's pockets from the semi-truck alone and from one customer alone. And with plans to expand production to 50,000 units a year, according to Priestley, you do the math, and you will realize that Tesla has a massive opportunity with the semis, and it's one that not a lot of Tesla stock investors pay attention to. With that being said, there are also some exciting rumors going around, and they that we will see FSD implemented in Tesla's semi-truck soon. Recently, it was announced that Tesla's Cybertruck will receive FSD in June with FSD's new 12.5 version, and a picture of the Cybertruck with cameras on the hood started circulating online. Similarly, we have a picture of the semi-truck with almost the same pair of cameras on the front as well. Therefore, installing FSD in the semi-truck could potentially be the next step for Tesla, as the truck is the only vehicle left in its fleet without the software. In fact, it was announced last year that the semi-truck already had all the necessary FSD hardware. However, the software wasn't not ready, but with how rapidly FSD has been developing since the beginning of this year, it wouldn't be too surprising if Tesla announces that we're getting FSD in the semis soon. Now, let's move on to more exciting news about Tesla, and it has to do with the company's long-weighted robo-taxi that will be unveiled in August. In fact, Tesla might have just accidentally leaked some footage of the robo-taxi, so let's check it out. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Over the past few years, Tesla has been developing a vehicle entirely engineered to operate autonomously, which the company referred to as RoboTaxi. Now, Tesla may have unintentionally leaked interior shots of its self-driving taxi in a promotional video that was posted to urge shareholders to approve Elon Musk's $56 billion remuneration package and the Watermakers Incorporation from Delaware to Texas. The two-minute video includes several production sequences, stunning images of Tesla's production vehicles, and remarks from Musk. However, many people drew attention to a picture of a car's interior in the video that doesn't match any of the ones Tesla has released so far. And the image shows what appears to be a two-seater vehicle without a steering wheel and a center display similar to what is found in current Tesla vehicles. Additionally, the seats are unlike what you would find in modern vehicles. In fact, they are something closer to what you would find in public transit, like a train. This is supposedly what Tesla's robotaxis looks like, and it's somewhat similar to what investors and Tesla fans have imagined. In my opinion, it looks like something revolutionary that will completely transform transportation, and I can't wait to see the vehicle's exterior. And since this video was posted to urge shareholders to approve Elon's pay package, we have to talk about it. CEO Elon Musk was the subject of a recent Morgan Stanley research note that highlighted the growing symbiosis between Tesla and Elon's broader business ambitions. According to the analysts, Elon now needs Tesla more than ever as his focus shifts to capital-intensive AI development across his companies. Also, the note stresses that Tesla plays a crucial role in lowering the cost of capital and providing vital data to improve AI learning, and with Elon's emerging network of AI-driven businesses expected to invest tens of billions in coming years, Tesla's success will be key in enabling these ambitious plans. Additionally, data captured by Tesla vehicles, both inside and out, notably improve AI learning and development. They also noted that the automotive total addressable market, often referred to as the Internet of Cars, is one of the largest in the world, encompassing 12 trillion miles and hundreds of billions of vehicle hours. Also, the car's unique attributes, such as mobile servers, computing capabilities, thermal management, and energy storage, 
are viewed as vital in the emerging AI-driven hybrid compute ecosystem, and these attributes have broad implications for the broader automotive industry and not just for Tesla. Therefore, as Elon's empire becomes more interdependent, the note suggests Tesla's upcoming shareholder meeting will be one to watch closely. With that being said, many people are wondering whether or not now is the time to buy Tesla stock, especially ahead of the shareholders' vote, as Tesla's longtime bull, Morgan Stanley, is suggesting that Elon needs Tesla more than ever. So let's find out the long-term implications. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. Uh, Tesla's moving this morning, and uh, I don't see a lot of stories, but there is one that uh, Lee Auto's moving a little slow on, uh, on their uh, SUV, their electric SUVs, so I don't know if that uh, will uh, pave any room for the Cybertruck to take off in China. Are they going to sell it over there? Uh, what's, how is that going to work, Garrett? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, Tesla... Uh, it, it, you know, it's not for the uh, the, the faint of heart. Um, we thought their their Q1 earnings release was much better than expected. The stock has rebounded off the lows, but still, you know, down almost 30 percent year to date, coming off a year in which the stock more than doubled. Um, you know, looking ahead, we really like the detail they provided as far as AI investments and improvements in full self-driving uh, software. We think that's going to be a key part of the story going forward. And uh, looking forward to the Robo Taxi Day that they're holding in early August, you know that's what we're really looking at uh, here with the story uh, over the near term. Okay, and uh, Tesla right now 180. Uh, so if uh, what needs to go right here, Garrett, to to, to get it to where you want to be, do you need to have like big macro uplift in the economy again? Because some of it seems like they've just been stuck between a rock and a hard place, a little less EV demand, and then a little more pinched consumer. That's right. And I think, you know, the, the year-to-date decline in the stock also reflects the difficulties they've had ramping up the Cybertruck so far. So I think, you know, if they show better progress, um, ramping deliveries, uh, they, they ramp up production of, of the Cybertruck, which we think they will do over the next few quarters, um, that's really going to restore investor confidence in the story. And also, you know, pr providing detail uh, regarding full self-driving, the AI investments that they continue to make, you know, and how that is going to translate to earnings. Uh, obviously, the more uh, full self-driving subscriptions they sell, it's going to be very positive for their margins because it's software sales, not auto manufacturing, which inherently is low margin. Shareholders are currently voting in the run-up to the June 13th annual meeting as everyone awaits the result to see if Elon's 2018 $56 billion compensation package will be reapproved or not. It is also important to note that the vote on Elon's compensation requires a simple majority of votes, excluding those owned by Elon and his brother, Kimball Musk. Meanwhile, the vote to reincorporate Tesla in Texas requires a majority of all shares outstanding, with any uncast votes counted as no. While it is impossible to predict the outcome, it is widely expected that the event could drive material volatility in the stock. And when we look at the stock, no one can deny that Tesla stock has taken investors on a roller coaster ride in recent years, as after the stock touched all time highs in November 2021. Tesla stock fell over 72% in the next 15 months. However, shares of Tesla have surged 25% in the last month following its Q1 results and some high-profile announcements regarding FSD, robo-taxis, and new affordable cars. With that being said, Wall Street was excited about Tesla's FSD technology, which should eventually enable it to launch a robo-taxi service that could potentially disrupt the ride-hailing market in the US, which is dominated by Uber and Lyft. And unlike these two companies, this self-driving taxi will allow Tesla to report much higher margins compared to Uber, as driver costs will be non-existent. Moreover, according to an ARK Invest research report, the robo-taxi market could generate around $440 billion in sales, which is almost three times the size of the ride-hailing market in 2023. So, given this single high-profile announcement, 
I'd say that Tesla looks very promising in the long term, especially with those numbers, let alone the subscription costs for the FSD service itself in Tesla's fleet, which will be a recurring revenue for the company. But what do you think about Tesla stock? And what are your expectations for Tesla stock? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation for Tesla is. If you would like to know more about the latest updates about companies like Tesla, then go ahead and click on the next video on your screen.